You can definitely tell Orlando's building momentum. I'm really happy to be here today representing Orlando because this conference is, is clearly driven by some great leadership out of Tampa Bay, but certainly uh, needs to be fully statewide. So we're really happy and honored to be here. So you could tell the momentum is building for a region that's growing and changing by over a thousand people a week move to Central Florida. That's been happening for 60 years. And we're a four-time leader in job creation in, in America. So the success we know comes from being an inclusive, diverse community that welcomes people and new ideas like many of you are presenting today. So naturally, Orlando is a place of change, and it must be. It's the number one destination in America, which is also ra rising to the top as one of the best places to do business. Innovation's in the DNA of Orlando. So you know the technology that attracts 72 million visitors a year also attracts industry that are on the cutting edge. So from virtual reality, gaming, autonomous vehicles, and our foundation, as you may know, in simulation is a magnet for innovative thinkers. And while we have entrepreneurs challenging their industries like Luminar Technologies that are the eyes of autonomous vehicles, we also have companies that are changing the world. I want to give you a couple examples. Orlando is home to Clean the World, a company that recycles hotel soap from a region that has over 100,000 hotel rooms and distributes it to people around the world, preventing millions of deaths caused by hygiene-related illnesses every year. And I want to introduce you to another inventive company that is building rapidly deployable structures of all kinds with applications that can be used in emergencies, as shelter, even as hospitals or clinics that can survive hurricane force winds. See for yourself how World Housing Solutions is finding the talent to develop and manufacture the next generation of structures for global communities, all in Orlando. So World Housing Solution was started a little bit over seven years ago to address the plight of refugees um, worldwide uh, through either man-made or natural disasters. And in the process of implementing our technology, which was a rapidly deployable structure that could be assembled and disassembled multiple times by unskilled laborers, we found a niche. We found a niche that we never thought would exist, which is the U.S. military. As we continue to develop that technology, and be able to help our troops abroad through our, our processes, uh, which continue to be the same. So the same concept of an elevated structure that can be deployed rapidly and reused multiple times, and because of its use of very high-tech, advanced insulation properties and capabilities, we are, the, we are really a, a wonderful twin for hybrid technologies, be it wind, uh, solar, batteries, etc. That really provides a, a very easy process for the U.S. military when they deploy abroad. We were fortunate enough that we were asked last year by FEMA and the Department of Health of Puerto Rico to come up and develop for them three clinics that could be used very easily, towed very simply by, by a, a small uh, Ford F-150 or small pickup truck and run sustainably off the grid for hours or days on end. And we deploy those three clinics. They're currently sitting in the island of Yikis. Right now, they're being used, integrated with solar, with batteries, and as well with telemedicine in order to be able to provide healthcare from far away to people that may not have the ability to use it beforehand. That opening has given us the ability to now get back to our sources, get back to our roots, and get involved again with entities such as Doctors Without Borders, um, you know, Red Cross and National Red Cross and locally FEMA and other entities from the state to, to emergency management systems throughout the United States. And that's really where we want to continue to have an impact.